Hi everyone, I'm Brendan and today I'm going to be talking to you about cross-device tracking. So cross-device tracking describes the phenomenon of people moving from one device to another device. So this is a really common journey and you probably do it yourself where you might start your journey carrying in a search on a mobile device, you might complete your journey later that day in a desktop device or maybe on a tablet device or maybe you'll complete your journey the next day when you get into work and sitting down at your desk. Tracking, tracking that cross-device journey is notoriously difficult, particularly when we use cookies. But Google have actually helped us in a really interesting way to track cross device. And they've done that with Universal Analytics. So when Universal Analytics was released, one of the features that was released with Universal Analytics is something called a user ID feature. And this is where it gets really interesting because the user ID fe feature allows us to associate engagements across multiple sessions from multiple devices. Okay? And within Google Analytics, the user ID feature is considered to be a unique user. So we're tracking the user, not the session. And you can define that unique ID from your CRM system, or maybe from your logged in system, if people are logging into your website, or even from your email database. And that allows us to track across devices. So when the user moves from the mobile device to a tablet device, using the user ID, we can track that journey. And one of the best things for me as a paid search marketer about the user ID feature is the additional reporting I now get access to. The reporting looks something like this. So I can see the pass to conversion by device. So the top one I can see some users have gone from desktop to mobile, some users have gone from mobile to desktop. Then you can see it gets more complicated. Some users go from mobile to desktop back to mobile. So these are paths to conversion by device. And then there's some other reports that show me the overlap between devices. So in this particular case, for this particular client, so I can see that 40% of conversions are generated from users using multiple devices. And that's really interesting because if I look at my mobile conversion in isolation, like a lot of people do, it's not telling the full story. And I might start to pull back my bids because I think mobile conversion rate is particularly low. But then when I get access to something like this, I can see, well, actually, mobile on its own might convert that well, but it's contributing to conversions on desktop and it's contributing to conversions on tablet. So it's a really important uh, form of reporting that allows me to optimize smarter, or optimize more intelligently. And if you're a multi-channel retailer, things get even more interesting. So let's say, for example, you've defined your user ID from your CRM system. That CRM system is probably also linked to a loyalty card. So when a user goes into your shop, if you're a bricks and mortar retailer and makes a purchase, you can track that entire journey. So this is where it gets really, really interesting because people talk about Ropo, this whole phenomenon of research online, purchase offline, but nobody's really got a good handle on actually tracking it. With the user ID feature and with something like a loyalty card, you can see a user carrying out a search and then coming to your website to have a look at an item and you can follow them right through to that in-store purchase. And when people start tracking those offline sales, that will change the complexion of how they view their digital marketing and the value that it actually offers.